Hey everybody, what's up and welcome back to today's video guys and today guys I'm going to be showing you how to fix any delay problems that you might be having in GarageBand. This is a very simple thing to do so make sure to watch this quick and easy video to the very end and follow my steps correctly so you can make sure this works the same for you and you can do this yourself. But yeah guys, let's get straight into it. So guys, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and open up the official GarageBand application on your mobile phone if you have not already. If you do not have the application, just go to the app store and download it and after opening it up, you'll be greeted by this main page right here. You can find out instruments you can play, you can get started with opening up the audio recorder and so on. So let's go ahead and open up our recording menu and go to open up the audio recorder right here now we can go ahead and open up our mixing and recording menu right here in the upper left corner so guys let's say you have started with your recordings as you can see we have the recording menu right here we're at the top of the screen we can click the big red circle to start our recording and now let's say we are having some delayment problems either we are healing the delayment when playing our instruments or just here in the track or we are having latency issues basically it can all be solved just by going into the track options right here guys if you're recording yourself and you see delay the problem problem is always going to be with your iPhone because the application is specifically designed for iPhone so it never has any errors regarding the application it's always going to be something on your end either your hardware is failing or you have an older version that cannot run the application anymore or you just want to go ahead and fix your latency issues by going into the options right here in the upper right corner and changing your tempo time signature and so on options that can help you out to make the delayment less, less visible so if it all works good and you're getting started recording then it should work normally but the problem is always going to be with you so if you're not if you're still having issues just try to go ahead and create a new track by deleting all your options right here to see if that's going to help it but yeah guys basically that is it what you can do so i hope this video was helpful if it was make sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel so you guys thanks for watching take care and bye